folks, welcome back to My Kitten Reads and welcome finally to my November reading wrap up. Um, sorry it's a bit late, I, um, I have a bit of a toothache at the moment, it's getting better but I wasn't really feeling like talking much on the weekend. Um, yes, yeah, so my November reading wrap up wasn't a great reading month for me. I read six books and four of those books were rereads. Um, part of it is because some of the books that I started reading that I haven't finished yet were really very long, including the great big behemoth that is the Ron Chernow biography of Alexander Hamilton. Um, and also because various things happened sort of mid-month mid um, that sort of kicked me off my reading stride a bit and I got a bit bogged down um, and was just sort of comfort reading really. But yes, but I still did read six books. So um, I started off the month by finally finishing reading Grimm's Fairy Tales, which, you know, I've never actually sat down and read the entire Grimm's Fairy Tales before. I have now read it. Still got a bookmark in it because I was using it as a reference. Um, but yeah, so I have finished this. Um, there are a lot of tales in this. Some of them completely bizarre. Some of them familiar. Some of them completely unfamiliar. Um, yeah, so I'm really glad I finally read this. I think this is actually a later edition, a translation of a later edition, because we were discussing at the Fairy Tale Society Fairy Tale Ring meeting um, some differences and stuff in the various different versions that the Grimms put together. They edited um, their own work a couple of times, and yeah, so I and from what that I think this is you know, a later edition, but still it gives me the basics of Grimm's Fairy Tales. So that was awesome. Um, then I went on a bit of a Gal Carragher kick, A, because comfort reading, and B, because in November her newest self-published novella came out, and this is the one I had been waiting for for quite some time. So, I reread Solace, which is the first of the Parasol Protector books, and, um, so that was fun. Um, I really enjoyed rereading that. It's probably, it's still my favourite of the Parasol Protector. It's just utterly perfect. Then I moved on to the new novella, which is called Romancing the Werewolf. Um, and I bought that on ebook. And this is the story of the reuniting of some beloved characters, Biffy and Professor Lyle. Um, it's a romance. It's a gay romance. So it is set after the current Custard Protocol books. So, um, spoilers, <laughs> sorry, um, Biffy is now the alpha of a pack and Professor Lyle has come back from his time overseas as beta to the Scottish pack and yeah, um, they meet up again, they're a bit awkward with each other and then a baby, a baby turns up on the doorstep and then another baby turns up. And so it basically becomes a dandy, a professor, a pack of werewolves, and far too many babies. Um, so there's a bit of a mystery. It's a novella. It's quite short, but it's cute and romantic and sweet and a little bit steamy um, in places. So, but it was a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed myself. And then because I was still in a bit of a Gal Carragher move, I jumped to book four of the Parasol Protectorate, which was Heartless. Um, I love the Parasol Protectorate as a series. Book Two I enjoy, except for the ending, which I find hard to read, which then bleeds into book three, which is good, but I find it very emotionally difficult to read, so I don't tend to, I tend to skip it when I reread. So I skip straight to Heartless, um, which is the fourth book, which is when Alexia is pregnant and in London and keeps getting attacked by random, random mechanical beings and by vampires and just... <sighs> she gets caught up in an investigation again and yeah it's um kind of fascinating and I really enjoy it so I reread that and then my other two rereads for the month uh were Six Guns Snow White which I will link hopefully if I remember my 14 minute rant about Six Guns Snow White and how it works as a Snow White retelling. Um, this is by Catherine M. Valenti. It's a novella. It was nominated for the Hugo's a few years back, I think in 2014. Um, it's a retelling of Snow White set in colonial uh, America um, with a Snow White who is actually half Native American um, and stuck in shoes. So you can go and look at the other video that I did the other week 
uh, if you want to know more about that. And then I finished, the last thing I finished in November was my reread of X-Wing Izard's Revenge. This is probably my, this is by Michael A. Stackpole. It's probably my least favourite of the X-Wing books. Um, but I was rereading it because this is the book that uh, Rogue Podrum, the podcast I listen to, is up to. So I wanted to remind myself of uh, the book. So I sat down and I reread it. And, you know... I see it in a completely different light now that I've been listening to Rogue Podron. <laughs> Seriously, I hadn't realised how ridiculous Corrine Horn was. Like, I was actually quite fond of Corrine Horn as a kid. And, um, yeah, he's such a bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> he's ridiculous. Anyway, so, yes, I finished rereading that. I still really enjoyed it. I, I, you know, it's Wedge and Elise. I mean, you, it's Wedge and it's Rogue Squadron, and I love them. Um, it's just probably my least favourite of the X-Men books. But, yeah which is book eight in the series. Um, so yes, I reread that. And so that was my reading month. So a bit quiet, but that's okay. I've already passed all my reading goals for the year. So, and like I said, I started some quite long books. So hopefully, hopefully I'll read some more of those this month. And it's going to be an interesting reading month, I think, because I have, I've started uni again. Having not realised when I signed up that the summer semester is actually compressing a 12-week course into a six-week period with a two-week break in the middle for Christmas and New Year. Um, so I'm going to have heaps of work to do, um, but I'm also going to have that two-week break. And I'm actually having that first week of January at home on leave as well as the time over Christmas and New Year. So I'll probably get a lot of time to read then. It'll be interesting. So we'll see how much I actually manage to read. But I shall hope I shall wrap this up because given that I haven't read much, it's probably already gone on too long and it's already late. So I will see you all again really soon, probably next up with my book haul, which is going to be a long video. Oh dear. All right. Bye.